Um, I think for me, my big, big, big issue is uh, as much as, yes, all due respect to the committee secretary for sports, um, he's not the national head coach. Mm-hmm. I think uh, maybe perhaps convincing him to be part of Kenyan football in general, uh, that would have been fine. But saying that uh, he's uh, back to the national team, I'm a bit I'm, I'm conflicted because first, we don't even have a national coach. Mm-hmm. Engine Firat left. Mm. No one knows. A 60 day coach. Yes. <laughs> Alienda, you yeah. know, I think went back, went back to Turkey. Uh, currently, we don't even know this, the the current composition of our team. It's it's yeah. in, it's in a, it's very, I don't know. It's very. It, there's no one knows because you know even fa- fa- okay. We've even spoken about the drama that is currently in place with the because it means if the national executive committee is not in place, does that mean also affect the na- national team assignments as yes. well? Obviously. So him announcing that it's back, um, I, I I feel like it was. Um, I think he was just trying to tick the boxes that he's been ticking ever since he took charge of the Ministry of Sports. Like, I've done X, I've resolved. I've done Y, I've resolved. I've done Z, I've resolved. Do your story to us? I- I've made, I've made, which is fine. Dania, 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 convince him to come back. But there's nothing public from Wanyama himself. That's the thing mm-hmm, that I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in finding out because he's in the country, yes. But it's not actually publicly said, uh, yes, I'm back. Uh, and this is my plan. Nothing. Kualimo, was it yet another political decision, political statement? I think so. I think so. Because I'll start with the tweet. It was sent out on uh, 8th of December at 8.53 a.m. Uh, via his Twitter for iPhone. <laughs> I'm delighted. Victor Wanyama. And there are four photos uh, of uh, Ababu and Wanyama. One, they're shaking hands and two, they're in conversations. And then the third tweet, I think Ababu is with uh, he, uh, Wanyama is with his younger brother which is very important because it gives us context in that meeting which which looks like it is in Ababu's office plus a family friend so i'm delighted Victor Wanyama this is Ababu speaking has agreed to return fully to Harambe Stars rescinding his earlier decision to quit the team to exit the team in our mission to rebuild our football and elevate our national teams our elite players must be at the heart of this renaissance Olunga too is in now, I have a problem with this tweet on two fronts. One, uh, Bernard has already brought it up. Uh, the second one, uh, Olunga has never talked about retiring, so why is he in where he, when he was never out? Uh, uh, Babu, uh, much as I believe he means well to develop football from the grassroots and every plan he has, Akai uh, Kualeniake, in my opinion, I like the technical team Abaki Kualeniake. I've got a question. Yes. Would he be a good addition back if he was to be back in the reckoning for the team? I do not think so. I do not think so because uh, as it is right now, Kenya, in my opinion, just needs a fresh start. It reminds me, although this is a far big example, it reminds me of the Germany team that was beaten. Was it 8-1 by the Brazil team that was beaten? 7-1. 7-1 by Germany. That team that won, the German team that won 7-1 was as a result of a disbanded generation be, below and the German federation said we want to start afresh. I think there's one tournament that Germany went to and really... Euro 2000. They yes, and they did not perform well. And everything was said, Nini, what and uh, Kiani, everybody go home. And then they started afresh. And they built a team painfully up until that point when that German team went to Brazil and beat Brazil seven goals. So Kenya at this point on, on, in time needs a fresh start. The Wanyamas, if I can just make my point, the Wanyamas have had six or seven AFCON uh, competitions to compete in, five World Cup competitions to compete in with no tangible results. Five. Five. Qualifiers. Even qualifiers. Quali- five. Quali- that would uh, mean it's been around for 20 years. Well, okay, three, one. three, three, like 12 years because I covered him in 2011. We're in 2022. Yes. And then... Yes. Yeah, that's almost three World Cups. Three World Cups. So, uh, we... Uh-huh. We, no, should no, no. Go th- we, sh- we should go. We should go through a little bit of pain, like the sevens. Uh-huh. Uh, let's 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 just have a team of under 21s, 22s. Get to and and get a plan with them and build them for three, four, five years, and also give the rest of the generations a chance. How many players are in a national team? For example, 11. the World Cup, 26. 26. Yeah. Are we honestly sitting here and saying we have 26 players who are better than Victor Wanyama? So we don't see his need because we have 26 players who are far better than Victor Wanyama. So we are not going to pick him because we think we should move forward. Are we saying we have 26 players who are better than Victor Wanyama? Are we? I'm saying his I position in the team. Saying, okay. I think I think what Kualima is trying to say is that 
it's it's a painful decision that has to be made. It's almost similar to the scenario that Portugal is going through with Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm-hmm. He's a critical uh, persona in the in the national team yeah, in exactly. terms of like who who he is and what he's done for the national team. He's just l- largely a motivating factor. And if that is the main reason, perhaps they want him back in the team. Maybe that can work. But Guys. in terms of skills, I think he's not at the level he was before. He left Montreal. He's a free agent. Yes. He's a free agent right now. Guys, you are giving me nice examples of Portugal and Germany. We are in Kenya. Plus two, five, four. <laughs> we have been to one AFCON since 2004. Actually, in the year 2000s, all 22 years, we've been to two AFCONs. We've won two games at the AFCON. We've won two Sekafas in that period. Two. That is our regional tournament that involves so Kenya, Uganda, will make us Somalia. Win the next Afcon. No, my point is this. We are not Portugal who can say, you, Ronaldo sit aside because we've got Ramos. Gonzalo Ramos yeah. who is bubbling under mm. and who shows up and, and scores have a And he'll have one game and maybe three poor games. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. We don't have anything like we that. Don't have that. We like are that. a country that... Sisi ni watu wa kubambanya, mm-hmm. tunabambanya anga kushikanisha kitu. We were just watching the seventh team now and we were like, oh Lord, mm-hmm. this is a young team. There's nothing. Yeah, 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 and yeah, we yeah. are saying, you know what? We are not South Africa where we are producing talent by the, by the minute. We are not Portugal who have such a wonderful mm-hmm. plan. We, have not, we are not Germany who have such wonderful plans. We are Kenya. Now, I, am I saying he should be the key part of the team? No. I agree. That is Michael Olunga. This is Olunga's team. He is the star of the team. He should be the captain of the team. But am I going to sit here and say Kenya wouldn't gain anything if Victor Wanyama played for this country? No. I think we gain something if he plays. Whichever, Even if he was a guy who comes in in the last half hour. What Di Maria is doing for Argentina? Mm. I think he would be useful. Because we don't have 26 players who are better than Wanyama in his current state. Please prove me wrong. We have 26 players who are better than him today. So we are saying, ah, let's move him on. G- Portugal can tell us, we've got Gonchalo Ramos. I mean, eh, just give him a chance. Hattrick. Ah, oh, yeah, I agree. Uh-huh. Bernard, uh, James looks like the guy mwenye ya kikutana na ex-waki anasema, okay, saa, tuwende tukule nyama. <laughs> saa, tuwende tunyumbani. Because uh, ui ni, ni mchezaji James ametuandikia baruwa mrefu, wakatuwekea kwa tuita katusema, mimi story ya arambe, nimeondokea. Yeah, but Just we minute. know the reasons why. The Before reasons that, he was not selected for two games. The reasons had nothing to do with football. You, uh, know, you are an hey, insider. Yes. You know. <laughs> the reasons for wanyama stepping down from harambe stars had nothing to do with with football exactly. had everything to do with the every other thing that makes our football what it is. James, <laughs> 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 